Hi, everybody. It's Chris in the North Conway studios, and I am joined by some thespians from uh, the Whitefield Theater in, uh, excuse me, from the Weathervane Theater in Whitefield, New Hampshire. A little bit of dyslexia there. But Ethan Paulini and Robert Fowler, thanks, guys, for joining us remotely today. Thanks for having us. And Thank of you, course, Kurt. of course, uh, one of the things that we enjoy here in the White Mountains is is summer theater, and unfortunately, that's going to look a little bit differently this summer. Ethan, why don't you tell us a little bit about what the um, Weathervane Theater in Whitefield is going to look like this summer? Sure. So, um, you know, we uh, were kind of we're disappointed to have to to not be able to present in the usual way. So, we thought we'd try and come up with some innovative ways to still get some exciting productions and some live and semi-live theater to our patrons. So, um, we open tomorrow with our, our new series called Picnic with Patchwork. That's taking our Patchwork Players, which is our theater for the whole family, uh, and presenting it outdoors. Uh, we have a big field behind our theater. And we set up a stage back there, and there's, um, and 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 it's it's we're gonna allow for social distancing and all of all of that. Um, and they're gonna do tomorrow. We open with "Give My Regards to Disney," which is a great show celebrating 25 years of Disney on Broadway productions. So that sounds gonna fantastic. be a great season. Yeah, leaving yeah. it leave it to uh, you know to creative directors of a of a of live theater to be able to improvise. Do you guys do you do any improv? Do you uh, have you taken improv classes because that really comes in handy during a time like this sure i mean yes exactly i think uh you know i said we did all that in college with when i was studying acting in general but uh now we're sort of honestly this whole summer feels like an improv um you know with trying to shift and trying to pivot and, and make something work so because I know the plans, have been, the plans have been fluid uh, originally. You know, you were hoping you can get some uh, live indoor theater in. Now, of course, it's all out outdoors. We were talking before we started recording this interview about uh, Hamilton. I mean, Broadway is obviously shut down. Uh, people, are, people still have a craving for quality theater and, and entertainment. And it's great that you guys have been able to adapt to, uh, to bring some of this to the North Country. Robert, uh, what do you think about um, the Patchwork Players and what's going to happen this summer? It's exciting uh, because they are going to continue their touring uh, while they social distance. And they have four different great shows. The Disney show, a show called Polka Dots, mm. based on the Little, um, Little Rock Nine, that's called Land of Stories, Land of the Lost Stories and as well as Pinocchio. So there's a diverse um, season for them as well. And they're doing the virtual as well as the outdoor. So there's two of these chances to have, for kids to see live theater, so to speak, but it's outdoor. So I'm very excited yeah. about that. So we've got outdoor theater in Whitefield at the Weathervane Theater. And then uh, you also, you mentioned the virtual programming. Tell us about how that's gonna work. Yeah, so um, as Robert mentioned, not only do, will they uh, perform in venues outdoors as well as throughout the North Country, we also will be presenting every Tuesday morning people, you can stream and watch any of the productions from wherever you are on the globe. So that's pretty exciting. You can go to our, our website to check that out. And then in the... Um, in August, we're going to present an entirely virtual main stage season. So we'll have... Um, two Broadway musicals, um, a play called Speech and Debate, a very funny comedy. Um, we will also have three original uh, musical reviews, Broadway Road Trip, Brush Up Your Shakespeare, and Top of the Charts, a uh, rock and roll journey through the decades featuring the professional company, which is hung on the wall in my, behind me on the office. Um, and those will be entirely virtual performances. They'll be lots of great live music, and, and, and we really do intend to stream them live. So you'll see the performance as it happens if you tune in on your tablet or computer or smart TV or however you consume the, the new digital content that's everywhere these days. So right. we're pretty excited about it. And talk yeah. a little bit more about your, your company. A lot of these, these people come from all over the country every summer to, you know, to, to bring professional quality theater to, uh, to the White Mountains. Yeah, I mean, we're so lucky. I mean, they're you're looking at a Broadway veteran right on your screen right now, Robert. He, he, he oh, rolls Robert his Ray. eyes every time I say that. <laughs> um, he, you know, has been in a number of great shows and all, all of these people that join us come with an impressive lengthy resumes and lots of accomplishments. They come from, you know, we've got 
Florida and Arkansas and Maine and uh, where they originally are from. Many now are based in New York. Yep. We've all been here since June. We've all been, even though we don't start the, the real bulk of the work for a while, we we're up here early to, you know, self quarantine and make sure we're safe and, and, and all of that good stuff. So it's, it's unique, but we couldn't do it with a better group of people. So that's where we're lucky. Yeah. As you, as you mentioned, a lot of those guys uh, and gals, Came up in June. You were able to get up there from New York, and uh, it must be disappointing in a way to, to not be able to run things as normal. But I know you creative types. You you love a challenge, Robert. We were talking before the interview. You've been up to uh, Whitefield now for ten years. This uh, is my tenth season. What do you like about coming up to to the White Mountains? What makes the weather vane so special? There are a lot of different things. The community. I mean, I've become part of the community up here, which has been great because they've embraced me such that. Every summer coming up here, I know people my name. I Dunkin' Donuts, the Lancaster. So it's it become a very familial kind of environment, and that's been the best part of it. Not, not to mention that the theater itself, and being yep. at the theater and being part of the theater community, because we also involve the community in part of our shows. So we get to know a lot of the different. I mean, the kids. This actually two weeks ago. We, uh, one of the members of the camp had put on their own show that we went to see her perform her show. And so it's and part of being part of this family in my field. It's been great. Yep. So I do love it up here. And do you, f- do you find that the audience up here really appreciates the quality of theater that uh, they're getting the privilege to see? Oh, definitely. And they let you know every bit of it. They let you know what they'd like, what they didn't like, <laughs> and what they would like to see more of. So that's, that's, that's being involved, and that's the best part of it. All right. So if people want more information or maybe to see the schedule of productions that you guys are doing, what's the best way to, uh, to get started? Uh, our website is definitely a good good place to jump off from, weathervanetheater.org. That's theater with an R-E. Um, also, our social media is super active right now. Lots of Instagram information, lots of last minute Twitter um, activity and Facebook and all of that. We'll, we'll keep the, up, the website up to date, but as things even develop within the day, sometimes yeah. you'll find out even before we've updated the website every day. So... And we're keeping people informed. We're keeping people really, really informed and really um, uh, up to date with what we're doing because it it changes for us too. All right. Well, follow these guys, Weathervane Theater, on social media, and uh, that's probably the best way to make sure you get your theater fix this summer. Uh, guys, have we left anything out? Robert, Ethan, anything else you guys want to let the audience know? Hey, we look forward to seeing them. <laughs> <laughs> even if it's uh, even if it's even if it's for. Like we're doing here. Uh, it's at, you know, at yeah, least we'll know they're there. We, we'll take whatever we can get this summer. So thank you guys yeah. for uh, help making this a uh, kind of a, an ordinary summer for us, however you can. And we appreciate it. All right, Weather Vane Theater, talking with Robert Fowler, Ethan Paulini. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And I will talk to you soon. Thank, thank you, Chris. Thank you.